woman. And that, that is what makes it strong. That's why we're strong, is because you all made an active choice to be here and be present with us and to work towards this common goal. I want you to also know that we want you to get involved with us. We care about what you have to say. We are the same as you, we just have a microphone. So create art with us, create music with us, email us, Facebook message us. We want to know what you think will be effective in promoting change. We're listening. Please just talk. Thank you. 
they, they wanted to shake up the establishment. They were like, this has just been going on for so long. I, I want something different. I want to shake it up. Um, and maybe they just didn't like Clinton. That's fine, too. Um, but it is absolutely because of his rhetoric, because of his rhetoric, that he was endorsed by the KKK. They did that for a reason, and they voted too. The KKK went out and voted for this man while multitudes had their votes suppressed. You know, I vote here for Wisconsin. And Wisconsin in this election season, he won by 27,000 votes. 300,000 people were turned away from the polls because of their stringent and manipulative voter ID laws. Thank you for that, Senator. Even more people, they, they stayed at home. You know, they felt disenfranchised by a system that really hasn't been significantly updated uh, in the last 200 years. <laughs> uh, as a result of that rhetoric, the people who have hate in their hearts, who have been carrying this around, are finally emboldened enough to express it and act on it. On election night, on election night, we saw a rash of brutal attacks against homosexual men in this country. Attacks on women have gone up. Places of worship have been burned and vandalized. People of color and people of faiths that are not Christianity are feeling as excluded and marginalized as they did in the days of Jim Crow. And for someone who looks like me, I just want to say, I love you and I'm here for you. And whatever I can do, please, I want you to know there are safe spaces to be.
We are going to get together to provide our neighbors with the resources and the shelter and the safe sanctuary they need. Regardless of what they're going through, it doesn't matter what they say, we're going to do it with the book out for each. By organizing together, by standing strong together, by reaching deep within ourselves, and finding that unconditional love for our neighbors, the kind of love that Christ taught among us. We will prevail. We will do this. People are, are afraid. They're afraid because there are these people in power, like our VP, who wants to electrocute the gay out of us. We will not give that man one ounce of power. He will not get anything done under our law.
and more importantly, the nation. How do we do that? So that's our goal today. We're coming together to say, look at everyone around you. We're here to protect you. We love you. We're standing together to make this world a better place.
and I know a lot of you are afraid, like what happens when there are hate crime attacks on us? What happens when the government does start seeing us as a threat? And I cannot tell you what's going to happen, but I do know that if we are all there for each other, we will be able to overcome anything that is thrown our way. This is huge. Give yourself a round of applause. with everything that we run, and there will be other marches. We just don't want to march every single time. That's a lot of people to control. So we're going to mix it up with rallies and other types of events to bring all types of people. We want children to feel safe here. I always want to keep our people safe and peaceful, no matter what.
We shouldn't have to fit in a white Christian norm to be fully accepted as a citizen of this country. Seriously, my voice would not matter 
if you all would listen. Just like your voice would matter if we didn't listen. I'm sick of feeling unheard. Are you? That is why we are here to listen. So I would like us, you know, I'd like the children to play. We have chalk, we have crafts. We're actually gonna roll down um, a piece of paper and I'd like everyone to write down something positive about what their America looks like on it. I just really want this to be a time to build community, make new friends, and we need this to build. I want you to go home feeling like your soul has changed. Like how many of you have felt like Thursday night ever before? Like I know I haven't. That was that was life changing. Like I will not ever be the same after that. And this is another ripple effect. This can keep growing and growing and growing, but it's up to each and every one of you to not only support it, but to share it with those who are suffering also. Everyone needs to be a part of this movement. Everyone needs to know about this movement. We really need to spread this across the nation, and who knows, maybe even across the globe.